be better off doing boats today, I think. So my name is Barry Crampton. Uh, I'm just going to uh, show you around our Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Mercedes-Benz C-Class 2.1 C200 CDI Blue Efficiency SE Executive. It's on 70,659 miles. The fuel economy, urban, is 38.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 64.2 miles per gallon. And combined is 51.4 miles per gallon. It'll do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.7 seconds. Has a top speed of 133 miles per hour out of 136 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Rotex is uh, pretty cheap too. Six months, £90.75, and 12 months is £165. Okay, service history. Uh, and I, I know you'll probably all be thinking, oh, I, I hope the service advisor's got the stamp the right way around or in the box, or otherwise he's going to kick off. Um, but <laughs> this has got, of course, a, a digital service history. There's no book. Um, the first service recorded is 11th of the 10th, 2013 at 33,497 miles. Second service, 23rd of the 9th, 2014 at 37,580 miles. Um, third service, 20th of the 9th, 2016 at 49,560 miles. So... As we always do, we always try and verify the service history. That's recorded, digital service history, brilliant idea. However, this vehicle has also been serviced at an independent garage. When we phoned him up, he hasn't even got a computer. Um, when we asked about the service history, he said, I've serviced it two or three times, but I don't know when. So. That's all we can tell you. Um, digital service history, in my opinion, is all right as a backup. If everybody's got the facilities to record the digital service history, but if they've not, then you know you get all these books in the in the car. Stick a service book in. <laughs> you know it's it's not like anybody looks at the rest of the books anyway. Um, if they need to know anything, they go on YouTube or, or whatever. So you may as well not put the manual in and just put a, a service book in. But the other thing I, I would strongly suggest, if you have a car and you take it in for service, when you go into, when you, when you take the car, you should put your service book on the, the passenger seat. And then the first thing you should do when you get in the car at night, when you've come to pick it up, is make sure that the service book has been stamped um, the stamps in the right position, right place, the right way up. They've got the date right, and they've got the mileage right. Because all these mistakes, the these big garages that charge you 100, 200 pounds an hour, seem to put the the, the biggest muppet they've got on the service desk, uh, and and they just destroy a car's provenance or its service history. The and if they've not stamped your book or. I suggest you go back in there, grab the person by the scruff of the neck, or make the biggest scene you can possibly do in, in the nice Gin Palace showroom until they actually get it right and do the job. Because millions and millions, th this is a lovely car, uh, and we were told it's got full service history, but we can't prove it. Um, so we've got to price it as if it's got partial service history uh, and sell it like it's got partial service history. And that probably makes a difference, I don't know, at least five or six hundred pounds, I suppose, on, the, on, this, on, on this age of car. Five or six hundred pounds on this age of car. Imagine how many cars are running around in the UK. And I can assure you, it's not just our garage that gets them. It's every garage. And really they, they should be taken to account because you're paying them to do something for you and they're not doing it and they're actually costing you even more money if they can't stamp the service book properly it's actually costing you more than you've just paid them for a service i, ca I can't honestly i can't stress it enough um the motor trade seems to <laughs> 
the motor trade seems to um, attract the worst type of people and uh, perhaps people who are just in between jobs who just want to pick the money up at the end of the week uh, and, and so on and really speaking it, it's the amount of money that's involved in the motor trade everybody should be the best anyway rant over so we're in this car black with black possibly leather possibly a mix of Artico leather which is a Mercedes man made leather I, I'm not sure it, it could be real stuff but it's it's a nice car it's an honest car it drives great it's on 70,660 I'm not sure whether you noticed this To be quite honest, I'm underwhelmed with it, but um, again, it's uh, a feat of engineering. So we've got multifunction steering wheel. It will be height and reach adjustable. We've got an um, electrically adjustable seat here, seat back and seat bottom. The actual leg reach is from a lever underneath that you pull up and, and slide back. Nice comfortable car. Over on the right hand side here we've got electric door mirrors. And they're both working got this uh, nice piano black inset to the the door cards a front central armrest that has got I can just find it there's a, a bit of space in there but it's kind of just right we've got comfort and sport settings so that's economy and sport on this sorry so we're in economy front and rear parking sensors with the Parktronic display on the dash and also in the roof at the back and you can actually you might not be able to see it from there but um, you can see it in the mirror if you've got your mirror set right so no need to spin round in the seat alloy wheels as I say front and rear parking sensors it's it's a good honest car um, and it's it's one that you would think if you had a private plate on it you would think it's a heck of a lot uh, lot younger now talking about private plates we had a chap come to the garage the other day he wanted to spend twenty thousand pounds or up to twenty thousand pounds and we had an e-class which I did a couple of days ago and he's he's got private plates he's got loads of private plates and he, and he actually sells them I should have actually I'll try and find his website and put a link in the description um, but we had an e-class eight thousand pounds and for eight thousand pounds he could have spent twenty thousand pounds and probably not got a car that drove any nicer than the one eight thousand pounds and he just said yes you know I'll, I'll, I'll have it and it's the same with this 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 is this is six thousand pounds, and uh, you you could spend double the money and still not get a car that drives any better. I think we'll go past this chap. He's uh, unsure where he's going. He's uh, obviously in a an unfamiliar country. This is a very slippy roundabout. Just going to cut in here and uh, go up the M6. So wipers are all good. Yep, squirty things are good too. We've got the gear stick in the proper or gear selector in the proper place here. You can also change up like so and down by just knocking the gear selector across.
It's got over mats. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I videoed the outside um, to a standard, but it's lashing down out there, it really is. So I've <laughs> soaked. Um, so I'll, I'll cut the pictures in, I'll cut the videos in to start off with, but um, unfortunately not the usual walk around today. Garden Harmony must be full of plant pots in the back there, taking it uh, very gingerly. Brakes are good. We are incredibly busy. That's a, a live chat. We, CD radio here, your air con. Let me just test the air con and get it whacked up. Put the lights on on here with the spray. Just not nice on the motorway today. The, uh, the cameras actually kind of shoot through the spray and uh, make it look not as bad as it is, but it's, it's really, it's horrible. Just uh, the cruise control on there. I don't think I'm gonna, oh, 70 miles an hour. I just went up in a five mile increment there. So we're doing 70 miles an hour, just under 2000 revs going to knock the crews off there because I don't want to be that close to the car in front. But nice and quiet. Very little wear on the steering wheel. Been, been well looked after this car. The seats are all nice and uh, let's say it, it, it is good value for money. just wish that we could uh, locate the rest of the service history and uh, not just have I've serviced it two or three times but I'm not sure when he's, ask, he's asking to get creamed We uh, Mercedes in front there, Mercedes Estate. We we seem to be Mercedes Central at the moment. We've uh, we've got an estate in which I'll I'll be trying to do tomorrow a C-class estate with a pan roof and uh, automatic and electric seats and so on. I mean that that's undertaken in my book. Coming up there and then carrying it straight on. air conditioning nice and cool so that's working too we've got bluetooth hands free and it looks like it's equipped to play dvds too works from here i'll show you how to uh, pair your mobile and how to delete one when we get back to the garage and the can't remember whether I mentioned now, but we've also got sat nav. So there you go, click that onto sat nav. So it's got everything you everything you could possibly need really. Mercedes don't seem to go overboard with stuff apart from that. Apart from that.
so we've got the lights on at the moment so if I switch the lights off I'll probably go lighter oh dear me what is going on here got a uh, little loading space there the um, audio system is pretty good too I, I'm trying to um, demonstrate audio these days um, the copyright uh, algorithm is, is so flipping refined these days that um, I played a few bars of a record the other day and it instantly got hit with a copyright claim. Uh, so uh, I'm going to have to rethink my uh, my videos. And you'll, you'll just have to take my word for it that the radio plays and is good. There we go, we'll give it some uh, gas up here. Great engine. As fast as you need. It'll last forever, I, th I think. I had uh, one of these which I used myself, had done 170,000 mile, and uh, it was still like driving a new car. dash we've got fuel gauge on the left hand side next gauge in both enclosed in a, a circular dial next gauge in is coolant temperature and then the center display you've got your speedo on the outside mileometer tells you what gear you're in the outside temperature if I just click that that's your trip meter and then uh, fuel consumption, let's see what else, you've got trip there, navy, shows your direction of travel and what road you're on, audio, telephone, assist, servicing, settings, so all control from that little button there, that's the back button. And over here you've got your telephone answer and uh, hang up volume controls plenty of room in the boot we do have um, I think we've got lumber support here yeah lumber support it's manual lumber support but all the same it's effective and once you've set lumber support to be honest that's uh, that's pretty much it So there you go, I'll finish the test drive there. Lovely car, drives absolutely fantastic. This is just as it's come in, it's not being cleaned yet. Lance will give it the treatment. And uh, let's say, if you're bothered about the year, cheap private plate and uh, take, the, take the year away from it. 
nobody will be able to guess how much this car was uh, was or cost you. And it's uh, it's one of the nicer shaped Mercs. The uh, the newer ones, I I think they look like a an upturned dinghy, which. Uh, to be fair, I could do with one today. It's uh, it's a bit horrible. But thanks for watching. Have a look at our website, ggcars.co.uk. Have a look at the web store. There's all sorts of stuff on there for petrol heads, motorists, you name it, clothes, the lot. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Water splash. <laughs>